Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. In today's video, I'll go over some of the latest updates Taskade has introduced in the past few days. So let's get started. If you're not familiar with it, Taskade is an all-in-one productivity tool designed to facilitate collaboration, task management, and organization. It aims to enhance productivity by providing an intuitive and versatile platform where users can create and manage tasks, projects, notes, and workflows. If you want to learn more about Taskade, you can check the link in the description. So let's start with the first update, and this update will really be the only non-AI update that I'll be discussing in today's video, and that is the ability to create a custom text field. In a previous video, we saw how to create a field that where you can input numbers and I believe a dropdown was the other one. And this time around, Taskade has introduced the ability to create a custom text field. To do that, you can head over to any of your projects, head over to the table view, and then you'll see this plus icon in the last column to the right. Go ahead and click that. And then you'll see here in the build your own section, single select for the dropdown number to have a to create a number or input uh, field, and then the text field. Here, for example, we can just say email. Description is optional if you want to describe this field. And we'll, we'll go ahead and click on save. And now you'll have the ability to add a custom text field to any of your tasks and projects. So beginning with the AI agent updates now, let's head on over to this YouTube project that I have here. Let's go to agents. I'm going to click here on create agent. And we now have the ability to have Taskade's AI generate the AI agent instructions and commands and all of that for us. So if I go ahead and click on this option, I'll describe here the type of agent that I want. For example, I'm gonna say an expert YouTube video script writer, and then I have the option to either have it be a fast agent, a smart agent, or a smart and fast agent. I've tried and I've played around with a couple of these and really the only difference that I see is that for smart, the output of the instructions and commands for these type of agents just seem to be a bit more detailed um, than the fast ones, probably because it, it provides the agent with less instructions to go through and less commands, making it thus smarter, but maybe not faster. Um, but other than that, I really did not see a main difference. Uh, if you guys have played around with this, please let me know if you found any other uh, difference besides that. But I don't know. I kind of like my agents being more informative and factual. I don't mind so much waiting for an output. So I'll tend to stick with this smart option. And then I'll go ahead and click on send. And Taskade AI will generate the name, the instructions, and some commands for your AI agent that you can obviously later on modify if you need to. So I'll wait for the output of this. Let's see, hopefully it doesn't take very long. Okay, I did have to pause the video. It took about probably 45 seconds for this output to come, to come through. But now we see we have a name for our, our AI agent, the instructions, and then our commands, and then the output language. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create. It brings us back to the um, AI agent create pop-up. It even adds an avatar for us. Here is where I can modify uh, if I need to. I can add more tools, knowledge, etc. Once I'm ready um, with that, I can click update. Or if I don't want to make any changes to the output Taskade has provided, I'll simply click outside of this window. And we now have created an AI agent using Taskade. The next update related to AI agents that I want to discuss is the multi-chat multi -chat option. So now if I open up any of my agents to start a chat, I can start multiple chats at the same time. So let's say that I have here a couple of commands from the new AI agent that we just created. Let's say that we're trying to edit the script. Let me insert that here. And I'm gonna paste the script here for the AI agent to edit. And while it works on that, I'm gonna open up another chat. I'm gonna set a new command to create a script. And this is gonna be based on, I don't know, Canva top five AI features. We'll send that over. And as you can see, we're still working in the output of the first um, command. This time it's working on another one. And I don't even have to wait in this screen. If I don't want to, I can simply exit out of here. The AI agent will continue working um, on those two tasks or commands that I just executed. I, come back, I can go back to my project and work on other things. 
once I'm ready to go back to see if it has finished, I'll go back to the agent and I see that both of them have completed their outputs and I can go over and review their answers. Next, we have probably the best or at least the feature that I'm most excited about in this latest update, and that is the ability to load URLs um, to your AI agents and have them scrape those URLs. So for example, if I load again here, my YouTube videos um, script writer AI agent, I'm gonna click on new chat. I'm gonna click command. I'm gonna click create script. Sometimes I, I, I tend to insert and edit the instructions for a certain command because I find that especially when I'm pasting this URL, sometimes it doesn't take the instructions that I need to or the command that I need to. So I tend to always just uh, paste it in here and then insert the URL that I wanna scrape right after i'm gonna click on send and it should scrape the information in this url which is just the task gate article for the latest updates and then write a youtube script on that so i'm gonna go ahead and stop the ai agent for now and let me read the title to see if it did explore uh, new features multi chats yep so here it is i send the article of task gates blog on these latest updates and task gate ai agent scraped that url pulled out the information and started, started writing a YouTube script for me. Um, so the next update is related to adding some new smart tools to the AI agents. To do that, let's head on here to the AI agent and click on edit. Then we'll go here to the tool section. We'll go here to add tool. And we see now that we have this new add task, sorry, this new ask agent uh, functionality, which lets us send the output of a chat to another um, Taskate AI agent. We can go ahead and add that. And then we'll also have here the option to send a, an email via Gmail. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my account. It is connected now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on update. I'll open up another tab just in case to really refresh all the information. I'm gonna go back here to my YouTube project. I'm gonna head on over to agents. I'm gonna open up the YouTube video script writer agent. I'm gonna click on new chat. Let's create a script again based on that article from Taskate. Copy and paste the URL. Send that over. Okay, I'm gonna let the AI agent build the script for us. Okay, once the script is built and the AI agent has finished, I'm gonna type send email. And the AI agent should pull up the email um, box or the email boxes for me to fill out and send the email straight from this chat window. It is a little slow at the moment, um, but I expect this to get a bit better in the future. Okay, so as you can see now, it says running Gmail. Now I have here the, a two box that I'll have to replace with the actual email of who I want to send this to, as well as our CC and BCCs. Text boxes, our subject, and we have here the body text, which is the output of what we just created or the script that we just created. If I approve, I'll go ahead and send that from this chat window, but for now, I'm just going to reject. Next, let's demonstrate the Ask AI Agent uh, Smart Tool by going here into this new Research Assistant AI Agent, clicking on Edit Agent, going into Tools. And as you, as you can see, I've already added the Ask Agent Smart Tool. So I'm gonna click outside of this to exit out. I'm gonna open up the Research Assistant and I'm gonna start a new chat. I'm gonna ask it to summarize a topic and I want to summarize Again, the same Taskade article that we've been seeing. Next, what you want to do is you want to make sure you close this command because then I, I've seen that the chat just or the agent just gets confused. And then you're going to type ask YouTube video script writer. Go ahead and send this message. The AI agent should recognize that you're trying to send this information to a, another agent. Uh, for right now, it didn't recognize specifically the agent that I was trying to um, 
describe, but that's okay. I can pick from this drop down. I'm gonna select the YouTube video script writer agent and I'm gonna go, go ahead and send the information and it should come back with a YouTube video script for me in the same chat window. Okay, and there it is. So it's providing the introduction, title, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the only odd thing that I find is that in this type of commands where you're asking another agent, I can't really stop the output like I can with a regular message. Um, I guess because it's sending the information to another agent and that agent is providing it in this screen, but we should have um, the ability to stop this um, response or that that would be a neat feature to have in the future. But yeah, there it is. And that's how the Ask AI Agent Smart Tool works as of now. So there you have it, a very quick update on the latest features that Taskade uh, has provided as of late May, early June. I know I went through these fairly quickly, so if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Or if you want to discuss how you're using some of these new features, features already in your workflows, um, also leave that in the comments. I'm always very interested to start a discussion on that and see how we can get more out of this great tool. Uh, I'm also excited to see some non-AI uh, updates in the future. I know the focus right now, probably for a lot of the um, digital platforms out there, uh, is on AI, and I understand that, but I'm also excited and hopeful to see non-AI updates uh, to this tool later in the future. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.